What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Bear Dog, back with another New York Giants video. And in this video, we're going to talk about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who are 1-1, one and, one, and the New York Giants, who are 0-2. We fly to Tampa Bay to play the Buccaneers on this Sunday. This was a team that we actually beat last season. Eli Manning had his best game of the year and one of his best in a long time. He was 17 out of 18 and pretty much dominated the Tampa Bay defense. We ended up winning that game 38-35. to But, of course, that is... Last season, Tampa Bay bolstered their defense quite a bit this year, and they're much better and much more improved than they were last year. Also, uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick started that game for the Bucks. He turned the ball over quite a bit. Jameis Winston came in there and tore us up pretty good there at the end of the game, made that game closer than it should have been, and he will start for Tampa Bay. You know, Jameis Winston has not had a good season at all, and there's a lot of people saying that he's a bust, and there's talk about him not even being there in Tampa Bay much longer. So it'll be a very interesting dynamic to see what happens. The New York Giants, obviously, if we have any chance to salvage our season Absolutely need to win this game. Cannot go to 0-3 if we have any chance of even thinking about the playoffs. So this is absolutely a must-win game for the Giants. And, of course, for Tampa Bay, you know, going to 2-1 would be a big step in the right direction for that team as well in a tough NFC South. So, obviously, the big story, though, is Daniel Jones. This is going to be his first start replacing the legendary Eli Manning. All eyes will be on number 8 for the New York Giants. And I'll be very interested to see what he does. It's hard to talk about what kind of game plan the Giants are going to have, for me anyway, because we've never seen Daniel Jones play in an NFL game. We don't know what the playbook's going to be. We don't know what Daniel Jones is going to do. All right, We don't know how he's going to be. This is his first ever game. There's going to be some nervousness. There's going to be some butterflies. There's no doubt about that. But Daniel Jones may come out there and surprise a lot of people. Hopefully he doesn't show some nerves, but he might show some nerves early. What I think the Giants should do, it doesn't mean they will, because I say this whether it was Eli Manning as our quarterback, or if it's Alex Tanney, or if it's Joe Montana, or whoever the hell it is. When you have Saquon Barkley, right, run Saquon Barkley. I think you're going to see more Saquon Barkley in this game for the simple fact that they're going to want to alleviate a little pressure on Daniel Jones. And I do believe that if the Giants can establish the run early and often against Tampa Bay, that it will help Daniel Jones out. Obviously, the Giants aren't in third and long situations. You don't. Well, you want to avoid third and eight, third and nine, third and 12 with Daniel Jones. You don't want a rookie quarterback. You don't really want any quarterback having to convert third and 12, but you certainly don't want a rookie to do it in his first ever NFL game. So try to get it to manageable third downs, third and threes, third and fours. That way you do have the option. If you want to roll Daniel Jones out, he can take off and get a first down with his feet. You want to hand it off to Saquon Barkley. He could get three or four yards for a first down. Or Daniel Jones can make a much safer throw and convert the third downs. So I don't think you want to throw early in this game on early downs. I think you want to establish a run, like I said, alleviate a little pressure off of Daniel Jones. Tampa Bay, you know, they're going to look to exploit the Giants' defense, which has obviously been our weakness this entire year. The lack of pass rush, the really bad secondary play. It's a lot of inexperience. It's a lot of miscommunication. It's a really bad game plan by James Betcher. A lot of soft zone crap, which DeAndre Baker did not play at Georgia. He's much better at press and man-to-man -man coverage, which is why I don't know that why the Giants don't do that and try to bring more guys to the pass rush. Five, six guys, let these guys play man coverage because they're getting torched anyway. So if they can get a little pass rush, then you're not going to have as much of an opportunity to go downfield with some passes and wide receivers getting open. And Jameis Winston's not the most mobile quarterback ever. I mean, he can move a little bit, but it's not like he's going to scramble a lot. So you're going to want to get some pressure uh, on Jameis Winston. And he is a guy that will turn the ball over. The Giants have got to find a way to build some momentum on defense. I'm hoping that the second half of the Bills game with the pass rush, they got there a few times, got some sacks, did get quite a few stops in the second half that they can build on this and bring it into Tampa Bay. Hopefully the presence of Daniel Jones not just invigorates the offense, but it invigorates the defense. There's new energy. There's new life. And again, I mentioned this before if the Giants coaching staff and front office are willing to sit down Eli Manning then that should tell you they're willing to sit down anybody if they don't feel you're getting the job done but there's not much to talk about in this game again because I really don't know what the Giants game plan is going to be but I do believe that they should run this ball very early and very often and of course win the turnover battle this defense needs to force turnovers man it needs something to really get it going you know you cannot just keep having the defense get pounded and get beat in the secondary and looking around at each other like I thought you had the guy no I thought you had the guy no I thought you had the guy because pretty much when the secondary is done they're 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 sitting there like uh Pat Shermer you know the defense like Dur, which way did he go George which way did he go that's Pat Shermer he don't know what the hell way anybody went man Pat Shermer don't know what the hell way is up 
He don't know his he don't know his elbow from his asshole, Coach Shermer. It doesn't seem like it anyway. So hopefully we can find a way to get some pressure on Jameis Winston, alleviate the, all the time that these receivers have to get open and help the secondary out, man. The secondary needs help because I don't care how good your secondary is. Janoris Jenkins mentioned it. I can't cover for 10 seconds. And Janoris Jenkins, I don't really like him anyway, but he's right. Cannot expect your secondary to cover for five, six, seven, eight seconds. I don't care how good the secondary is. It's going to get torched at that point. You have got to find a way to get pressure on Jameis Winston, force some turnovers, make him throw the ball earlier than he wants to, make it uncomfortable for him to throw the ball. Don't let him step up into the throws, man. You know, the Giants have got to find some kind of defensive game plan to slow down the passing attack. Teams have not really run great on the Giants, but they've been able to pass whenever they've wanted to. We have got to take something away, whether that is... You know, the underneath stuff or the over-the-top stuff, the down-the-sideline stuff, the up-the-seam stuff. they got to take something away. It can't just have the quarterback go, well, if I want it short, I got it. If I want a quick slant, I got it. If I want to go down the seam deep, I got it. If I want to go fly down the sideline, I got it. Got to do something to stop it. Daniel Jones is going to be very interesting. I cannot wait to watch this kid play. I'm very excited, as most Giants fans should be. Obviously, we talked about it earlier in the week. It's a bittersweet moment. You know, we're saying we're not saying goodbye to Eli, but obviously he's not going to start anymore, barring injury. You're not going to see Eli Manning play anymore for the New York Giants, most likely. So it's bittersweet, but at the same time, man, we got to get behind Daniel Jones. We're going to need all the support we can get. And God, let's get a damn win, man. Jesus, can we just win? I think like five out of the last six years we started off 0 and 2. Can we? Can we just get a damn win, man? We've lost, we've lost 27 out of our last 35 games. I want to know what it's like to win again. Come on, Giants. For the kid, you know, for the fans, for Eli. Let's get a damn W on Sunday. I'll see you guys for that game. We'll be live on this channel, streaming the Giants and Bucks. And Daniel Jones' first game. And the Tane will be with me. DWG will be with me in studio. DWG will be with me in studio. Easy for me to say. Hope to see you guys all there. Of course, I'll have a video tomorrow. We'll be live for Talking Giants tomorrow night on this channel with the Entertainment Talking Sports. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Thursday, and I'll see you tomorrow. It's Bad Dog, and I am gone. Peace!